Welcome, this is Jeff, the Big Hairy Dog, and we are going to take a quick look at the customer import tool. Um, the customer import tool is a tool that's uh, provided by uh, M&M Enterprises and can be installed into any directory. I just dropped it in, unzipped it, and dropped it in this folder right here. And uh, when you open it up, this is what the main interface looks like. And what this allows you to do is to go into setup and configure it. So what I've done already is I've already pointed it towards the ECM directory. And I have gone ahead and built a map. So basically over here on the left, you can take any of these fields that are over here. And you can have them be added to your map or take them out. So you decide what the order of the fields are going to be. And then uh, you get some data. And here's some data. I've just gone ahead and put one record in here. And um, we've got a, a last name, a first name, a last name, a, a address one, two, and three. There's no two, by the way. And uh, zip code, phone number, is email, and an active mark right there. Um, then we would go ahead and um, do a file save as, and we would change this from XLS to to CSV. So we changed it, save it as like I'm just saving this customer CSV on my root uh, drive there, and we say yes, and then yeah, all right, fine, can over, overwrite it. And this is the message we normally get here. It says you know you're going to lose some of your Excel formatting, and we want to say continue. And then when we close this going to be angry at us because it thinks we're losing some of that Excel formatting and so it wants us to save again and we're, we're going to say no, cancel that. All right, so what this is going to do is it's going to piggyback on Retail Pro's pre-existing uh, communication module ECM. So I've already pointed this towards an ECM folder um, and we're going to go ahead and say yes and save that. So there's the file, and we'll just go out and peek at it real fast to make sure that we're totally comfortable with the fact that there is a file out here. Here's the file. We're going to right-click and say Edit, and we're going to see in here this comma delimited file, right? Data field comma, data field comma, data field comma, so on and so forth, right? So we have a comma delimited file out there, ready to go. And we are going to go browse to the ECM folder, so let's take a look at ECM real fast. Now normally you don't really need to be involved in ECM quite as much as I am. Um, normally you just tell it to process the data and that's all you really need, but uh, for the purpose of demonstration I want you to see what's going on a little bit here. I'm going to open up the, the polling directory, the in receive folder. I'm going to pop over into this and say that is the file, that is the map that we built. We're going to say import And it creates the file, and that was very quick. But you see the run ECM. I meant to uncheck that, but you get the idea, basically. The file popped in there. The run ECM was checked off. It fired it off and pulled it in. And if we go in here now and take a look, we should have There we go. There's our record we just had pulled in here. Um, that's that's it, really. Um, there's all kinds of fields, so I guess in closing, I would say pop out here to the setup and um, take a quick look at things in this here. So if you have a multi-subsidiary environment, if you need the class codes or IDs, um, store numbers, I mean, it's nice if you associate this record with a store. Then when you're filtering later, you can see that. You've got company name, of course, uh, info fields, credit limit, credit used, store credit, uh, accept check marks, user defined fields, auxiliary fields, first and last received date, return date, all kinds of stuff in here. So it's pretty full featured in that respect. Um, notes, big field, large field. Going to stop and point that out. Um, and of course, the last thing here at the very bottom, besides the loyalty and the addresses, which are kind of important, 
is there's an ignore mark. So what that is is if you have data coming out of another system and you want all the fields except this one and that one, when you build that map, you can put that ignore mark in the map to say basically skip over this field. You know, I don't want to bother cleaning it up every time, but I don't want you to look at it either. All right, well, um, I'm going to say thank you very much for um, joining me in this little uh, adventure, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.